Meanwhile, police in Samburu County have launched a manhunt for a man accused of defiling his niece. The suspect is said to have defiled the 15-year-old girl after she was sent to his house to get utensils. Wakati nilienda na yeye akaacha nyuma akaloku mlango akaloku mlango uko ndani akazirusha akanirusha hapo kwa kiti yake hapo nilikuwa hapo jikoni It's a story that has become so common young girls defiled by people closest to them Mary not her real name becomes the latest victim of a growing number of girls who have suffered defilement or rape across the country Nalia hivi alikuwa ananiumiza ananiumiza huko kifua nikamwambia niache sako sa ufaa zake zilikuwa on nikijaribu kuitana hakuna mwenye alikuwa nasikia lakini kuna yeye nilikuwa nimeacha nje sa aliponifinilia kabisa ndipo niliumia nikafaint wakati nilijisikia nilijisikia nikiwa hosi after the incident the accused would go back to her mother's house and ask the mother to come for her child ndio mtoto amekaa nje sasa ndio ni kukaa kitu saa mbili ndio isa kikonyo akakuja akaniambia hiyo kazi ni yangu akaniambia uko na pesa kwa simu unisavasia nikamwambia hapana sasa baadaye kidogo tena akarundi akaniambia kuja uone mtoto yako kwenda kwenda kuona mtoto alikuwa kwa kiti yake amefaint her daughter who lay on the seat unconscious after the heinous act was rushed to Samburu County Referral Hospital for treatment and doctors confirmed that indeed the girl had been defiled. Aka dia litibiwa akapeana hiyo maneno yote akasema isa kikonyo saa ile aliedea sahani alimshushanisha kwa kiti na akamralia akashindwa hata kupiga nduru. Sasa kumuangalia alikuwa amemrep. Kutoka Friday baka saa hii bado hajashukuliwa watu wananimfanya mambo yote. <laughs> Samburu Central Sub County Police Commander Alex Rutich said the suspect fled when he learned that he was being sought by police. Mwalifu alitoroka. Na kile unajua serikali hapo na mgono mrefu atatoroka lakini awesi kificha. Eh naimisa hii watu wa sehemu hii awachana maneno hii ya ko aribu watoto wadogo despite hefty penalties prescribed by law on sexual offenses in the country there has been a rise in such cases over the past a couple of months with human rights crusaders calling for a need for heightened vigilance to curb such vices caroline kamar reporting for channel 1 lunchtime news